Hey guys, what's up? I'm Arch with Imran, um, and today we're going to be doing a video on how you can import any object or furniture into a Rhino model. Let's get into it. So here we are in my Rhino model. Um, this is the one I want to be use. Um, now we're going to be downloading free objects off the internet. Um, you can use whatever site you wish, but for this video, I'm going to use Turbo Squid. So I'll show you how to do that. So here we are in Turbo Squid. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be downloading, say, a washing machine. So once you get this, some of these are paid and some are free. We are going to we are going to sort by free. And what we need to make sure is, if we go onto formats, we need to make sure OBJ is selected. Now, although Rhino is not industry standard for architecture, it's a great concept concept software, and it's used highly for the amount of file formats it can read. So, for today, we're going to be using OBJ files. Here is the washer I want to include, and I'm just going to hit download. So, once you hit download, you'll be taken to this page here. Um, these are previous ones I've downloaded and things I've tested. You will need to make an account, but it's completely free. So here are our washers in 3D um, 3D Studio. We are going to use OBJ. So we're going to click on, we're going to click the drop down, and we're going to download the OBJ file. Once that's downloaded, you're going to put it somewhere where you can access, and we're just going to open it in Rhino. So here we are back in Rhino. All I've done is file open, and I'm going to select the OBJ file. You'll be given this box, and these settings should be fine. Now, the reason we're opening this in a separate file is because OBJs are not to scale. Um, they're not the correct size and you will need to do some edits just to make sure it's correct. So here's our model. As you can see, it's also on its side. So we're going to select it using the gumball. We're just going to hit 90. Now our washing machine should be the correct size and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type scale and I'm just going to reduce the size a little bit. We will do it more in the actual model. So, here's you can see, it's a poly model, which means it's made of triangles and other shapes. It's quite complex geometry, but if we but if we change our view to shaded, you should be able to see it. And if you change it to rendered, you should see that some of these models can have really high detail. Um, they can be really beautiful, and if you integrate them right, they can look great in renders. So, now we have our model here, cleaned up, slightly scaled. We're going to go File, Save As, and we're just going to save it as, as a Rhino model. So now we're back in our original Rhino model, we're going to go File, Import. Now, um, say this isn't showing up, um, I would recommend clicking Supported Files and it will show everything. We're going to select the washer and it should be placed now. As you can see, it's very small. This is due to the fact that um, our scaling was incorrect on the previous um, model, but it will still have the same details, so we can go Scale. If we do just scale, it will scale in all axes. You can also do scale 1D and scale 2D. We're then going to just zoom out a bit and make our model a bit larger. So there you go. Now this model can be in. So now you have this model. I would recommend selecting it and just grouping it. And then you can, you can move this out within the model. You can also download as much furniture as you want and you can, you can um, render it out within V-Ray and it will look beautiful. Um, hopefully this quick tutorial helped, um, I know a few of you were struggling with it, had a few questions, so I hope this solved the issue. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know, and if you do find the videos helpful, please subscribe, I really appreciate it and it supports the channel. Thanks.